My heart will rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord who has been bountiful with me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. <clears throat> this morning's Mass, in which we commemorate the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, is offered for the repose of the soul of Migs Riley. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins, <clears throat> asking God to pardon and peace. Lord Jesus, you are sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who prepared a fit dwelling for the Holy Spirit in the heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, graciously grant that through her intercession, we may be worthy temples of your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, the descendants of my people shall be renowned among the nations, and their offspring among the people. All who see them shall acknowledge them as a race the Lord has blessed. I rejoice heartily in the Lord, in my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with a robe of salvation, and wrapped me in a mantle of justice. Like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, and like a bride bedecked with her jewels. As the earth brings forth its plant, and garden and the garden makes its growth spring up. So will the Lord will God make justice and praise spring up before the nation. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> my heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies and I rejoice in my victory. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering gird on string. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry fatten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the nether world, he raises up again. The Lord makes poor and rich, he humbles and also exalts. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. He raises the needy from the dust, and from the dung he, he lifts up the poor, to seat them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Each year Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the feast of Passover, and when he was twelve, they went up according to the festival custom. After they had completed its days as they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Thinking he was in the caravan, they journeyed for a day, and looking for him among their relatives and acquaintances, but did not find him. They returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said, son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And he said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. He went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The heart of our Blessed Mother, 
It's the heart of purity. It's the heart of, of love, filled with love, so that she could bear the Savior of the world. The heart is also for us the place of our motivations, the place of our uh, of what drives us. Where our heart is there, does all our efforts lie? Is your heart in it, we say so often. It makes us wonder, as we ponder the immaculate heart of our Blessed Mother, about our own motivations. Today's a day to check our motivations, to see whether we're dealing with this person with the right intention, whether we're doing this thing for the right reason. And beg the Lord to give us a heart that is pure and filled with love, a heart that seeks to do His will, a heart that does not um, seem to manipulate in any way. So today, let's make the Immaculate Heart of Mary a day to check our own hearts, to see where our motivations lie, to see where our heart is this day. Let us pray. We pray for our Holy Father and for all those who lead and guide us in faith, that they will be great shepherds. After the heart of our Lord, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all mothers on this day that we contemplate the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And we pray for our own hearts, that they may be pure in intention. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Deacon Pat, who will be in a short time, Father Pat, that he will be a good and holy priest. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, for the intentions to rest in the silence of our hearts. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. And for our beloved dead, especially for Mick Riley, for whom this Mass is offered, may he live with God for all eternity. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear these prayers and make our hearts like that of your, the mother of your son, so that we may live and love with full and beautiful intentions through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted as God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice of our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. <clears throat> Look, O Lord, upon the prayers and offerings of your faithful, presented in temporary commemoration of Blessed Mary, Mother, Mother of God, that they may be pleasing to you and may confer on us your help and forgiveness <clears throat> through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise and bless and glorify your name. On the feast day of the Immaculate Heart of the ever Blessed Ever Virgin Mary, for by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions and door and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virgins of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together in exaltation. May our voices be praised and joined with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In
in a similar way when the supper was ended. He took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant Gates, whom you called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who is united with your son, a dead like him, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may bear to be co heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace. Peace, mercy, peace, love, peace, salvation. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Mary treasured all these words, reflecting them on them in her heart. Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the birth, the mother of your Son, may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord. 